Hi guys! I've decided to do this thing where every month, every month, I post a video of the books that I plan to read that month. Disclaimer, the books will probably repeat come October because that's how my life goes. But for now, with hope for the future, I will ideally be reading this coming month, the month of September, Afterworld by Scott Westerfeld. Um, I have liked this author since junior high when I first picked up the Uglies series. If you haven't read that, go read that because they're so good. So this book, which I will admittedly say I haven't really looked into a whole lot, I've just heard lots of good things about it, sort of weaves, not sort of, it does, it weaves in two stories, um, one of this girl Darcy and then one of this girl Lizzie. Basically Darcy is writing this story about Lizzie, so as she writes them, Lizzie reads them. Reads them? No, <laughs> she lives them. Um, the little caption is, Darcy writes the words, Lizzie lives them. Yeah. So I just thought that was an interesting concept. I honestly have no idea what's going to happen in this. I do know that this fan and I are going to have some issues. Um, however, I have no idea what's going to happen and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so this is the first one I plan to read in September and hopefully I'll actually get a review out about it because I think I'm really going to like it. I have high hopes for it because Scott Westerfeld is a fantastic author. Um, oh my gosh. So yeah, that's that. The next ones I plan to read are a series. It's the Shades of London series by Maureen Johnson. So this is the first one. Um, it's called Name of the Star. I don't know if you can tell it's kind of worn because I've read it once already, but I plan on rereading it because it was two summers ago that I actually read this. This is about a girl who can see ghosts and um, gets caught up with this society of ghost police, if I'm describing that correct. So this one I know is good. Um, I just want to reread it for a refresher. It's about this girl, Rory, who like I said, she can see ghosts. Um, and she ends up in London and then there is supposedly this Jack the Ripper copycat. Um, and she has to figure out what's going on with that. Well, I mean, she doesn't have to, obviously, but you know, she gets thrown into it as is the typical you know, paranormal young adult novel goes. That's what happens. Um, so that's this one. I know what happens. I know this one's good. I recommend this, but an actual review will hopefully be coming out about the entire series. The second one in that series is The Madness Underneath, but this is basically, you know, what's going on with Rory after everything that happens in the first book. Um, I hope that it was as that it is as good as I remember the first one being. The last one also in that series is The Shadow Cabinet. Um, so this is the third. I'm fairly certain it's the last one. I have no idea what happens in this at all, but I'm hoping it's gonna be good if the first one, like I said, is any judge. Anyway, so that's what I plan to read in September. I know it's only four novels, um, I say only but I feel like that's gonna be a lot because I am taking six classes this coming semester, all involving my major, so I'm gonna be super busy with that. But yeah, I mean, this is a fairly thick novel, so this will keep me occupied for a while and I will probably post updates and progress on Twitter and Instagram and all of that. So I will keep you posted. I don't know if any of you follow those, so if you don't, you should. I don't know, you don't have to follow my Instagram, but Twitter, I will most definitely be posting updates on. My Twitter is at underscore Ravenclossum, but also links will be in the description for that. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, I will hopefully see you soon with a video of um, these. Hopefully by the time that I post this video, I'll already have started reading um, Afterworlds. I'm filming this in the end of August. So hopefully I will have already started reading at least one of these and then we'll have a review out for you guys. Um, hopefully 
probably not weekly, but it would be nice. Um, but you know me, I, I don't do that. That's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you are having an awesome life. And if you're getting ready to go back to school or you're already back in school, good luck. Don't procrastinate. Do your homework. Make sure you sleep. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.